Hello there, my name is Mihai and I am part of the development team here at Kitask. In this video I am going to show you how to execute test cases on remote intact servers. For this purpose I have a project here in which I have a feature file. For this test case we are just opening a browser, navigating to the Kitask homepage and checking that the title of the page is the one that we expect. For my project when I press F4 I see that the current configuration for the hostname and port of intact is set to localhost and the default intact port but currently the connection is disconnected this means I don't have any local intact server running and I also don't need it because I want to execute the test case on the other laptop that I have right next to me because they are on the same network I can configure now my intact studio to connect to this one via its, its IP address so I'm reading the IP address from the other laptop it's 172.16.31.26 I'm applying the configuration and clicking OK what I need to do now is to start intact on the other machine and as soon as the two connect I will see a status update here below on the right corner this takes a while because uh, uh, the network might, might be slow. We should see it, yes, right now it's connected. This means we have everything set up. So I can basically start this test case on the other machine, which I will do now. During the instantiation, what happens is that the content of my project is uh, uploaded to the other machine and the execution is started. As you see, uh, the browser was opened and the test case was already successful. The first time when you start it, if you have a larger project, uh, it will take some time to instantiate uh, the test case because it has to upload all the data. But the second time you start it, it won't upload the full data, so it's much faster. It will just synchronize the changes that you make on this laptop to the other one so if I were to change only this file it won't upload the full project again but it will just transmit the difference to the other machine in this way it's um, it's faster okay I want to show you that the configuration for this test run you see it takes the default one so the one that I set for my project here the host name it takes the IP address of the of the other machine one other aspect is that on, on the other laptop, Intact Server generates um, some files, some report files. And um, in case you want to have those files also locally, so let's say you don't have physical access to this machine, but still want to see the report that got generated, you can stream the files, the artifacts that Intact Server generates back to Intact Studio and store them under your local file system. You just have to check the store execution artifacts under and here you give it the path. Let's leave it for now like this. So we store the reports under reports and we have a, a special folder report minus date and this date here, it's a placeholder that will be replaced with the current time and this way you will have different reports for different um, test runs. Now if I apply this configuration and run it again, let's change back to the original title such that our test passes. It's always better when you have passing tests. Okay, it runs and you see it generated this reports folder and those are all the artifacts that were generated on the server side. For demo purposes, I store them here directly under my project, but usually it's uh, not a good idea to store the reports under the sources of your project because each time you start a new test case, it will synchronize those files back to the other instance and it's not good. It will just add uh, in time. So we, our recommendation is to store the reports somewhere outside the root of your, of your project. Okay, um, this is how you execute test cases on remote intact servers. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Thank you.